guys, I'm Kiwi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the simple fresh face beginner makeup look and I call it a beginner because it's really really simple and I'm giving you guys tips and tricks that I wish I would have had when I first started out with makeup. Yeah and I know I missed Monday and Sunday's video but I actually been moving and this is probably not going to be my actual setup but it's like really cloudy outside and my actual setup would have been like dark and this is kind of dark too so I hope it comes out really well yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video and it's really really simple it's a really simple makeup look it's great for every day it's really great for people that are just starting out with makeup and want to wear makeup to like school and work and it looks very very natural so um and i give you guys a little a few options and like dupes for products and all kind of things that so i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys would like to see how i got this look here then be sure to stay tuned thanks guys hi guys okay so this is going to be a talk through video but it's like really cloudy so hopefully this is not like too dark but i'm gonna go ahead and get started all right so i already have moisturizer on and that is one of the most important steps when you're doing makeup so i'm gonna go ahead with my primer and this is the benefit professional primer now when you're choosing a primer for your actual for your skin type depending on what you want like i have many different primers i have brightening primers i have discoloration primers i have primers that will clear any imperfections that i have whatever you want to fix in like hide or work out on your face that will be the primer that you want to go for so today i kind of want to cover up my pores a little bit so i'm going to go in with the benefit professional and i'm just going to put it in the areas where my pores are like huge so around my nose a little bit on my cheek and my chin and this is just gonna minimize the look of my pores and they're not gonna be as visible as they are now when you are beginning with makeup I wouldn't recommend you starting out with a liquid foundation and I'm just saying that because uh, like I said I was giving you guys tips that I wish I had when I first started out with makeup and to me liquid foundation can be a little harsh on the skin and it's a lot more harsh than actual powder foundation so that's what I'm going in with today I'm going to explain like the powder foundations and all of that later but since I'm not going in with the liquid foundation and I'm going in with the powdered one I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer so the concealer that I'm using today is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer but if you can't get your hands on this one then I would recommend the LA Girl Pro Concealer because they're like a dupe for each other and these concealers are really good because they're not too thick but they're thick enough to cover up any dark circles that you may have and to cover up any blemishes that you may have and it it does increase on me if you look in the mirror with no makeup on you will notice that certain areas of your face are just naturally light like under your eyes uh down the bridge of your nose your for the middle of your forehead and your chin those areas are naturally lighter than the rest of your face so those are the areas where i'm going to put my concealer and if you have dark circles or dark um dark eyes or dark spots on your face that you want to cover up then definitely recommend using a concealer but if you don't have any of those problems then you can just skip so i'm just going to take a little bit and put it on my hand um sometimes i apply this with the product on my hand and apply it with the brush but it with my blending sponge but i don't have any sponges clean right now so i'm just going to apply this how i normally would without a sponge and one drop literally goes a long way so you don't have to keep pumping it out and all of that i need to move my hair off my face and i'm gonna blend it out with this Re technique expert face brush and i normally blend it out with a beauty sponge but i don't have any clean right now so i'm just gonna blend it out with this and I'm also going to take the concealer above my eyes, on my eyelids as well, and just blend it like that because I'm gonna, I'm not going to do any eyeshadow today. So this is going to work as like covering up my eyes and just making everything look blended together. And it's going to make me look wide awake as well. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna do this side. And I have like scrape bumps on my face, so it does. Those like two huge bumps that I have, like one under this eye and one over here somewhere. Those are like scrape bumps. And another thing about this concealer that is that you have to blend it fast because once it sets into your skin, it's really hard to blend and to move. And the only reason you want to brighten up these areas and put concealer here is because once you put your foundation on, it's going to make it look flat. And these are the areas that you want to be lighter on. So a lot of times if you wear liquid foundation, you put it on, on top of it to cover it up. And I'm going to go ahead and set that because I don't want it to crease throughout the day. And I'm just going to go ahead and set it with the Ben Night Banana Powder. And I love this powder. I will admit that I am one of those people that got this powder because Kim Kardashian makeup artist used, this, used to use this powder. I don't know if she still uses it, but that was one of the reasons why I bought it. And I've had this powder for like a really long time. And I've used a lot of it up. But I really like this powder because it kind of brightens those areas up. Now, if you can't get your hands on that, I would do recommend the Elf High Definition Powder. And this one is in sheer, but they do have a yellow one. So if you want to go for a more yellow tone one, then they do have a yellow one. But this one is the white one and it comes up sheer. And sometimes I mix the two together, so that's kind of why I'm recommending this one. But this one is about $3 and I think this one is about... 11 or 12 dollars so i'm trying to give you guys the cheaper alternative but today i'm gonna go in with this one and i'm gonna set it with a with this brush here i don't even know i call it a tapered brush um but it's easy to stick it in here like that and just knock it off this is how i do it and i'm gonna actually set this concealer everywhere i put the concealer even on my eyes Also taking it down the bridge of my nose and my chin and on my forehead. So once I have that on, I'm going to actually go ahead and go in with my foundation. And the foundation that I'm using today is MAC Studio Fix Foundation. And this one is the powder foundation. I have the liquid form as well, but I really like the powder powdered one. And I like this one because it has the coverage of a liquid foundation so I can just apply this and I won't have to worry about covering up, going in with uh, a concealer to cover up my dark spots or anything like that. I will already have everything covered because it's like a full coverage powder. So if you're using this with a liquid foundation you would want to take a fluffy powder brush and just kind of dust it on your face to set it but if you're going in like me today without a liquid foundation do you want to go in with a flat powder brush or a flat foundation brush and press it into your skin as you see me doing now so i'm just going to take a little bit on here like that and i'm just going to press it into the skin and as you can see, it has the coverage of like a full foundation of, it has the coverage of a liquid foundation. And it does look a little orange when I first apply it, but it does oxidize throughout the day, just like most MAC products. But as you see, I am skipping out on the areas where I did highlight because I don't want it to look flat. In the areas where I highlighted it, I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush and just kind of brushing it across there. Instead of patting it. I'm also gonna take a little bit and pat it on my eyes. This is gonna also help it's that natural look that I'm going for. Crap, I knew I shouldn't have put this shirt on. Okay, once it sets, we're going to 
uh, go ahead and go in with our bronzer and the bronzer that I'm going for today is a one of my favorite bronzers this is the contouring blush and bronzer set in Turks and Caicos from elf and I like to use the bronzer from this set because it's like a taupey ashy brown um bronzer and i really like to use those because when you're going for more of a contoured look you want to go in and put kind of ashier brown in those areas because it's more of a shadow on your face i have a video up on my highlight and contour routine where i mention all of the products that i use and i just it's mainly focused on that so i'm not going to go into that right now but today I am going to go in with the bronzer here and I'm just going to apply it in the shadows here under my cheekbones. This is going to lift them up. A lot of people like to make this face. As you can see I already have like a shadow there so I'm just going to follow that outline. I'm going to take a little bit on my forehead and on my chin. Alright, and then for my blush, I'm going to go in with this blush here. And it's from, the, from LA Colors and it's like $1 or $2. I can't remember how much it was, but it was really, really cheap. And I'm going to go in with this blush because it's like a soft, natural pink color. And it has like a little has like little hints of gold in it and glitter but it's not like that glitter that gets all over your face and it looks like you're a glow ball it doesn't look like that but it does give you enough glitter to give you like that natural glow to your face so i'm going to apply this on and i like to put it on the apples of my cheeks and move it back towards my hairline You can see it put that glow there and I really, really love this blush for that reason. If you don't like blush, you can skip that step, but I'm like more of a blush person. And for a highlight, uh, you just want to put the highlight in the areas that are already highlighted on your face. So again, if you look in the mirror with no makeup on, you will see the highest points of your cheekbone and a little bit above your brow bone. It will be, this area will be highlighted if you look at it in the mirror. It's just naturally highlight, highlighted like that. So you just want to put area the highlight in those areas that are already naturally glowing. So... Um, I'm going to apply it in the areas that are already naturally glowy. I'm going to take a little bit on my brow bone because it's going to give my brow bone a little height. It's going to lift it up a little bit. So, just lift this the brow. I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose. Because again, that's another area where it's already highlighted. And I'm going to put it on my cupid's bow. Now, I put it on my cupid's bow to just give me that perfect pout. And it just kind of... It just gives your lip that perfect pout. So, yeah. And I know it looks crazy now. But I always go in and blend everything together with the blending brush. Just because it makes everything look put together. And a lot of people skip the step so you can actually see where everything is at on their face but when you blend it together you can't really tell it all just looks so put together and blended well so i'm going to just blend it blend everything together That is it for the face. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the brows. So for the brows, I like to go as natural as I can with my brows. And I really need to groom my brows. And I'll probably do that later today. But I mean, they don't look that bad right now. But they look kind of bad. So what I like to do, I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown and I like to use this one and I don't really have like a dupe for this one yet. I used to use the NYC ones, uh, these look 
99 cent nyc eyeliner and brow things and dark brown but i kind of stopped using that one because it started breaking on me so i went out and bought this one this is the one that i use now i'm pretty sure they do have dupes for them i just don't know any but i'm pretty sure you can find it on youtube or just google like the anastasia beverly hills brow wiz dupe and you'll be able to find one for a cheaper alternative if you are looking for one but i take these fully in and i just brush my brows up and then i take the actual brow wiz and i line the bottom of my brows like this and i also line the top like that and I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Like that. And once I have it already lined, I like to just kind of lightly fill it in by brushing it upward like this. Just kind of flicking the brush upward like this. And it's easier to just know like which way your hair is growing. I know that my hair grows this way and I know it grows straight up in the air. So in the areas where it grows straight up, I just flick it up. And the areas where it grows to the side, I flick it to the side. And this, and you want to lightly do it and it just gives you that natural hair look. It just looks like natural hairs when you are applying it. And I just really like to do this and keep them as natural as possible. Don't forget to brush them. Now here in the front here, my brows are a little like flicked. It. They go like every which way. So, <laughs> yeah. Now always remember to keep a light hand when you're doing this. Okay, and once I'm done with that, I go back in with this spoolie and just brush it up and over. And I go up and over all right and then i'm gonna set it with a clear brow mascara from maybelline this is like the cheapest clear brow mascara i've ever had and it's like four dollars i think four or five dollars so it's really really cheap but uh this one is clear so you can get a tinted one if you want to make the process a lot easier and just skip out on the brow whisk step and just go in with the tinted one. I'm skipping out on eyeshadow today because you saw me put the concealer and powder and all of that there. I am going to do a beginner's eyeshadow look or a few beginner eyeshadow looks shall I say. But for today's video I'm going for more of a natural everyday look. Now for me, I wear wing liner all the time with my makeup, so that's just me. But if you don't wear wing liner, you can skip the step as well. But I'm going to go ahead and apply my wing liner today. And I'm using the NYC eyeliner, liquid eyeliner in black. And this is like the easiest liner I have ever used and it's one of the cheapest so I think it's like one or two dollars so you can't beat that and I like to start out real thin closer to my uh, inner corner and then make it bigger as I go and once I get to the end I like to take the bottom of my lash line and start there and kind of draw a line like that and start small with working my way in just start small like like that and just you want to just build it up like that 
and you just want to keep doing it until you get to your liking. And yeah, that is that one. Do you want to keep the line as straight as you can? I'm like one of those people where my wing liner is never perfect. I always mess it up all the time. So it never looks the same way every day. It always looks different. I'm going to go ahead and add some bottom liner. I don't take this all the way into my inner corner. I like to take it halfway in and it just kind of makes me look wide awake. My eyes tend to look smaller when I take it all the way into my inner corner. So I like to just take it halfway in. And to give me that wide awake look, I like to go in with a kind of gold dish sheen looking highlight. Now you can use the same highlight that you used on your face, but I really like to go in with this one because it's easier and it's in a point it's in a pencil form. So I like to go in with this and just add it to my inner tear duct. And this will make me look more wide this will make me look wide awake and it will just make it look more even now this is not something that's like really natural and it, your eyes don't really tend to glow right there but it does make you look wide away and it's really not even that noticeable so if you were to do it it wouldn't even like draw attention to you but i like to wait until my eyeliner completely dries so i'm going to do it because i have eyeliner everywhere if i do it now <sighs> And I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. I like to just take it there. Like that. And a little bit there. You just really want to go in now and just add your favorite mascara. I like to apply my mascara off camera. Uh, because I have to get all down and get all of that. So I'm going to do that off camera. But this is the mascara that I'm going to be using. It's by Rimmel. And I just like to use this one because it gives me enough volume and enough length for my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this mascara here. Okay, so applying mascara sometimes can be a little messy. So I, if you guys are like me, you probably poke yourself in the eye with mascara a lot. Or you just kind of screw up and get it all over the place. You can probably get it on your eyelid or whatever. So a little trick that I like to do is wait till it completely dries and then go in with a dry Q-tip and just kind of brush it off and it comes right off. Once it dries, you like I like to do this once it dries because it's easier. It's not gonna smudge everywhere because when when it's wet, it's gonna smudge everywhere. But when it's dry, you can just go in and just brush it right off. The great thing about this look is that you can go in with any lip color. So since we are going for more of a school work type of makeup look, I'm going to go in with more of a natural nudie lip color. Favorite lip combo at the moment is NYX Lip Liner and Cappuccino. And I just like to line my lips with it. And then I like to go in with these two lipsticks here. The first one is Touch of Spice. Both of these are from Maybelline. They're creamy matte line. And I love these lipsticks because they're so creamy. But they are matte. And you guys know I love matte finishes. And then I'm going to go in with Lush for Blush, which is another one. And this one is one of my favorites. And I'm kind of focusing this one more so in the center. And then I'm going back in with that lip liner again and just kind of fixing it to my liking. Alright, and the last step of 
all of this to just make everything look put together and since we used the powdered foundation you just I just I don't know this is like something that I can't live without I have to have a setting spray this is like one of my makeup essentials must have so the cheapest one cheapest uh one option that I have is the elf makeup set in mist and I or miss and set miss and set and I'm just going to spread all of my face it's gonna take away that powdery look it's gonna emphasize the glow that I have and it's just gonna help my makeup last all day long so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this and I always 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 recommend this to anybody that asks about makeup and whether it's powder or liquid or whatever it just takes away that powdery cake face look that no one really wants so it just helps it look so much natural and like skin like you know so it's a really simple makeup look that you guys can wear to school, you can wear it to work, and it's really easy for an everyday routine, and it doesn't take you all day to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it so others can see it and maybe they will find it helpful as well. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new here, and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.